Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day. So what I wanna show you today is a budget strobe light kit for the Mavic Mini and the Mini 2. I was online the other day looking for drone accessories and I thought, hey, for $18, maybe this is something that you guys would get for your Mini or your Mini 2. Now, if you don't know, you can fly at night as a recreational pilot and then also as a Part 107 pilot that has just completed the recurrent training, you can fly at night as well without having a waiver and that includes myself. I just did my recurrent training, so I'm so excited to be able to fly at night and publish those videos. And so we're going to check this out. There's two components to this. The first part comes from Start RC and it clips on the front of your Mini or your Mini 2. And then the other part of the package comes from Tomat or Tomat or whatever. And it's these little strobe lights on the bottom that I have mounted on the bottom of the prop arms. I wouldn't mount them there and I'll tell you why here later on in the video. This front clip thing doesn't look like it's going to be very good quality. The lights are little tiny lights and how it clips into the drone, I'm not very secure about that. So I'm not real sure if this is worth it, but I think these things are pretty cool. They're super bright. Um, and uh, so we're going to put it up tonight. We're going to wait till it gets dark. I'm going to fly it away and see how far away I can get. Of course, you have to have strobe lights on your drone that can be seen for up to three miles away to be FAA compliant. So I want to see if you can see these things from up to three miles away. And if you can, you know, for $18, that's a lot cheaper than the Loom Cube strobe, which I've been using regularly. I have some hook and loop here on top of my Mini 2. That's what I use on here. Awesome strobe. And then thanks to your guys' recommendations, thank you so much. I also tried out the Firehouse Arc 5, which is, this thing is super bright. This is a really good strobe light. So both of these are really high quality lights, but maybe you guys are looking for something a little bit cheaper and still remain FAA compliant for flying at night. So let's wait a few hours here until it gets dark and then we're gonna check out this budget strobe light kit for the Mini and the Mini 2. All right, it is finally dark enough to fly. It's about 10.30 at night, still about 85 degrees. It is sweltering here this week and I am not enjoying it very much, but um, so the first thing I want to show you is this clip that I talked about uh, from Start RC. I already wasn't impressed with it by how it mounts onto the drone. And right now I'm not impressed with it because it doesn't stay on. Like there's a little black button that you push and that turns it on. And if you push it once, it stays on. Push it twice, it flashes quickly. Push it three times and it flashes slowly. And then you push it a fourth time and it turns off. Well, I charged this this morning and I charged it for over an hour and I tried it when I finished charging it and it worked just fine and now I tried it tonight for my video and it's not working so it doesn't stay on apparently it doesn't hold the charge so I don't know if I got a faulty one or if it's just how it is so so I don't I don't recommend this right off the bat so this thing is no good if you get this kit just for these uh, I wouldn't even use this thing but these things are pretty cool they're really bright uh, I have them mounted on the bottom of the prop arms just like they showed on the um, Amazon page But I would not mount them here for a few reasons number one um, They come with some little sticky 3m things those little foam sticker things and you stick them to the bottom of the prop arms Right underneath the props and that has like a dust filter. It's like a little foam dust filter and I don't know how I'm gonna get these off now because if I try to pull these off It's gonna pull off that little dust filter so I would not mount these here if you get these. Uh, the other reason is you can't fold your drone. They get in the way of folding the prop arms in. So that's another reason not to mount them if on the bottom of your prop arms. So I would mount them either on the top of the drone or maybe on the back of the battery cover here. So, so just in case you don't know, you guys, if you're gonna fly at night, you do have to have a strobe light that you can see from up to three miles away. And the other thing is they have to be red or white. Now, my question to you is, this is flashing red, but it's also flashing blue. So does this qualify? Does this meet the standards? Um, I haven't read anything that says it can't be red and blue or red and another color. I just see that it has to be the red or white. So let me know what your thoughts uh, down in the comments. I'm sure some of you have some pretty strong opinions about that, but you have to have a strobe on that you can see from st three statute miles away and you have to maintain visual line of sight. So a lot of people fly at night and they fly pretty far away. And there's something that should be explained about visual line of sight. A lot of people think if you can see the strobe flashing, that means you have visual line of sight. But honestly, if you go by the wording that the FAA has on their website, 
visual line of sight means not only should you see the drone drone's position, but you should also be able to see the attitude and the direction of travel. And technically you won't be able to see those things from that far away. So visual line of sight is not just the ability to see that strobe light. So, so basically what I wanna do is I'm gonna put this up in the sky and I'm gonna see how far away I can fly and still see these lights and, uh, and still be able to have those things to be able to know the direction of travel and the attitude of the, of the drone. So, so let's get this up. I'm just gonna fly straight ahead, straight out over the gravel pit here and I'm not gonna go high. I'm gonna keep it at 100 feet. I'm just gonna see how far I can go out and see the light. So let's go ahead and get it up and I'm gonna turn on my screen recorder as well. So I'll bring it a little closer to the camera so you guys can see what it looks like. All right, so I'm gonna get up to 100 feet. I'm gonna fly it out and uh, see if I'm able to maintain visual line of sight, okay? All right, so we are at 500 feet. I can easily see it flashing. Um, yeah, it's really, really bright. Like, that's pretty good. And I can't even really see the blue. All I can see is flashing red lights. All right, let's go a little bit further. Okay, so I'm at a thousand feet right now, 100 feet high, a thousand feet away. And now I can just barely see it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the drone around because I can just see a little tiny flash and uh, that's not doing the job because I can't really tell the attitude of the drone. So I'm gonna turn all the way around so it's facing me. And now I can see them quite clearly. So having those LEDs on the front of the drone, the drone is facing me right now. And yeah, much, much better that I can see. I don't think I'm gonna go much further than that because yeah, because I'm not gonna be able to keep the technical visual line of sight. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna come forward. Okay, so when I'm traveling forward, I can barely see the flashing, but when the drone is sitting still, they're very, very bright. All right, let's bring it home. All right, so it almost looks like a little fire truck up in the sky or a little police car with that blue and light, blue and red light when it gets close to you. So, so I could see it pretty easily when it's facing me a thousand feet away and I can be able to determine the position, the attitude, the direction, and all of that. I wouldn't go any further than that with these lights. So, these technically do not meet the standards for uh, the proper strobe light to um, to make sure that you're doing things properly when you're flying at night. So, so they definitely help with visibility, like knowing where your drone is and things like that. They look really cool, but I would not use these as your only strobes uh, when you're flying at night because they are not legal by themselves. Now, normally I fly with the loom cube strobe on top of the Mini 2. I just have some hook and loop here. I have some of that on the loom cube strobe. I just stick that on there. I also recently started using the Firehouse Arc 5. Thanks to you guys. Thank you so much for that recommendation. That light is amazing. Super bright. It's really awesome. So I fly with that. I, I put that on my Air 2S and I fly my Air 2S with the Firehouse um, Arc 5 on there. So both of those are a little more expensive. So that's kind of why I was looking at these. I was looking for something that was a little more budget friendly. I shouldn't say they're expensive. They're actually, for for the life that you get out of them, they're not too bad. But, uh, but these are only like $18 online. And I was looking for something that maybe some of you might, you know, don't fly that often at night and you just wanted something to comply um, with the FAA. But, um, but it turns out that they don't. They don't comply. They... What I would do is if you want to look cool while you're flying, just get these and then and then put the loom cube or the the firehouse arc on top of there uh, to, you know, to be compliant. But um, so, yeah, overall, would I recommend these for you guys? Actually, no, because 
you know, with these $18, what I would do is I'd take that $18 and I'd put that towards the arc or the, the loom cube strobe. So, so that's my recommendation. I hope I gave you something of value today. If I did, click on that thumbs up button. Really helps out the channel. Also, if you want to see more videos, more testing like this, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. I appreciate that as well. Thank you for watching the entire video today, everyone. Have a great day. And as always, fly safe and fly smart.